women are the more vulnerable of the two sexes, regardless of what the world tries to make us believe. Physically and providentially, women are weaker than men. That's just what it is. And as a result, they have to secure their environment. And they need to know that the man that they put their trust in is capable of taking care and trusting and leading, right? Even though we live in a world where there's a minority of threats, there really aren't very many threats, it's still a primal urge. It's a, it's a part of the primal nature of man and women. We have, we have an innate nature. Christians say that we have a fallen nature. It's our sin nature. The sin nature that is passed down by our ancestors, Adam and Eve, are usurpation and abdication of authority. Abdication on the part of men, we abdicate our authority and it's a part of our fallen nature. And for the woman, it's usurpation of authority because they, they, they are afraid. They're more afraid than we are. They take less risk than we are. So in that panic, in that fear, especially if a man is an abdicator of his responsibility, she wants to grab the wheel. So she's constantly testing to see, is this man awake? Is this man capable? Is this man going to provide and protect? And is he going to take the wheel? Because if not, I need to know that now because I got to protect my offspring. That changes the dynamic or, or it perverts the dynamic, the sexual dynamic between the man and the woman, where the man now is passive, feminine, effeminate, weak, and the woman becomes very hard and masculine. The man is afraid to then assert his authority after years and years of abdication because what is she going to do? What is she going to think? She's going to resist. She's going to fight back. And she will. She will. And she's afraid that if she lets go of the power that you're going to fuck it all up. You don't know what to do with it because she's tested you enough times and you proved yourself unworthy. But just as much as you on the inside really want to step up and take that role, she on the inside really just wants to relax and give up that role. But a lot of times a man and a woman will be in a relationship and a woman will just walk all over the man. She'll be the, she'll be the alpha in the relationship. And of course that never works out. He becomes resentful and she's disgusted. So at a certain point they break up and then she ends up with a man who is an alpha and all of a sudden she is Susie Homemaker waiting on him uh, on hands and knees. She's, pa she's passive, she's submissive, she's sweet. <laughs> Because she can relax because she trusts that this man is strong and he's not going to take any shit from me. Now you're asking, how do I turn the tables in my own relationship? Little by little, bit by bit, starting with small things. Look around the house for things that are broken or messes that are made that you've been saying, I'm going to fix that or I'm going to clean that up for a long time. And I'm not saying go do dishes. Don't do her job. Just, that's a caveat. You don't go and now uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the laundry. You're gonna go and do the manly things that you haven't been doing as a man. You know, like change the light on the in the car, right? She can't do that. You can do it, and she's been waiting for you to do it, but you just haven't done it. With the children, children are driving her crazy. And she's always and they don't listen to her. She's trying to make them do things that she won't listen. Step up and defend her for the children. Hey, listen to your mother. Did she, you hear what she just told you? Do not talk back to your mother like that. Let your, let, you, let your wife see you talk to the kids that way. She's going to, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She'll get real soft real quick for you when she sees you taking charge in other situations. If you guys are out at a restaurant and the wrong thing comes, instead of her having to speak up and call the waiter, right, waiter back, you say, it's okay, man. Mister, waiter, come on back here. That's not what she ordered. Would you be willing to take that back and have her have it brought back the right way? Okay, thank you. We think that we need to come in like a hurricane. We got to change shit up. It's the small things. It's the subtle things. You see what I'm saying? Start with everything I just said there. Dude, take care of the small things. I think it'll all work out for you, dude. Done. Gain total self-mastery and control over your drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone forever. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here, and if you're seeing this ad, it's because I want to help you. If you're a married man who owns a business but struggle to overcome those late night vices that you're trying to hide from the world, including your wife, clients, and colleagues, whether it's drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone, 
All these vices that you're trying to hide, you know they're killing you on the inside. Plus, crippling your business and failing your family. If you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, then click the link in this YouTube ad. Because for the first time in my 17 years on YouTube, I have a program that not only makes men strong, but has the power to fix families, repair businesses, and restore faith in a world gone wild. But it all starts with men like you who are ready to take action. Now, I don't have enough time to explain how it works here in this short clip, which is why I put together a four minute video for you to watch on exactly how it works. So click the link here, watch the video now, it's completely free. And if you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, be the man that you're called to be, I'll see you on the inside. Done.